I have a problem. Well, the problem is I got code 07 and the platform started normally. I've entered the BIOS, entered MSI Flash because I had prepared um, BIOS version A5 and it was A3. So it I restarted the uh, machine few times. Everything was working correctly and swiftly. Got into the BIOS and uh, flashed BIOS to A5 from A3, and uh, it stopped on a code 11. So I dismounted everything and uh, put inside the USB and flashed to uh, A3 again but right now I have code 07 from A3 to A5 to BIOS flash to A3 and uh, it is not working uh, mm, as and it shows CPU problem but the thing is that CPU was working uh, previously so mm, I don't know what is the problem I will dismount it again and again flash it to A3. Maybe something w went wrong with uh, flashing for the first time, but uh, I don't know what is what's the problem. I never had such a situation with BIOS flash, and I was using this motherboard for uh, a lot of different uh, workstations, and it always works but it was uh, working with A3 BIOS and now A5 BIOS might be flawed because phew, I don't know what's the problem for this one and it's always with the same RAM so well that's just the case and uh, so yeah I'm taking everything out and starting to flush BIOS again. Well, the CPU had the perfect grease, so perfect spread of the thermal paste. <laughs> Gimbal. Well, so yeah, I don't see any problem with uh, this one. Mm, well, uh, CPU again had the perfect uh, spread of thermal paste, so I don't know why it does say code 07 now. This is very strange. Everything is new. And I just don't know what to think about this one. Hmm. Anyway, I'm flashing BIOS again. Okay, so I'm flashing BIOS again. Everything is disconnected again. My BIOS is A3. So we should see if it will help. And the funniest thing is that it shows CPU again all the time even when it's flashing BIOS so yeah maybe it should be like that I don't know but anyway it's just annoying that this type of stuff is happening and here we have everything disconnected also so uh, yeah I don't know what else should I do to perform this uh, BIOS flash. I think, why is the platform trying to start itself after flashing BIOS? It doesn't have CPU. I don't understand this. This is something weird. Okay, it flashed BIOS and it turned off and turned on again why what for 
Why without CPU? Strange thing. So the problem persists. After flashing BIOS again, everything looks almost normal, but it comes to 07, and that is all that is happening. Uh, so yeah, well, the BIOS A5 uh, was something which might have destroyed the CPU, or it bricked the this motherboard I just don't know but anyway uh, I have another CPU like this so I will probably make make it with another one so yeah okay I don't know I'll try another CPU okay so I have another Ryzen 390 CPU this time, uh, no, it's the same, just from the almost the same delivery. So now I'll check where is the problem. It might be the CPU, or as I think, it might be motherboard and its BIOS. So, well, yeah, I'll just go and check if the CPU got, let's say, broken by updating the BIOS by mFlash or it is the problem of the motherboard. We will get to know. Okay, I have the new CPU right now inside this socket. I will plug in the uh, Corsair here and as you can see it's ready to go let's go zero seven so uh, another brand new CPU and zero seven this code was also uh, once showing on Aorus X570 and I was unable to unlock it uh, but anyway so yeah that's the motherboard fault and I'll try to flash it to BIOS A2 and I'll see if it works uh, or it doesn't. So again, I have to take out everything and disconnect everything and flash the BIOS. So that's that's fun all the time. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. Okay. So I'm flashing it again. Uh, after checking that the second CPU, which was brand, brand, brand new, is not working, and uh, we will see. Well, and now it's blinking uh, hastily, and uh, hopefully it will change to blinking slowly and then turn off. But this motherboard turns off and then turns on, like, I don't know why, because it's just flash bias so anyway I'm waiting for an outcome okay people so after a tough and heavy fight updating uh, well after flashing to a5 by M flash when the PC started to show uh, code 11 
on the uh, cookout console right now we do have contact after flashing BIOS by flash BIOS to A5 again to A3 again to A3 again and now I flashed it to uh, A4 and right now I have the PC running I don't know why and how did that happen uh, let's just say that yep I'm in the bias so uh, anyway if you encountered the problem of uh, uh, bias uh, or it the platform is not working you have to choose the wrong, uh, right BIOS for flashing. I don't know why, how does it uh, count? Uh, it was all the same, doing the same stuff, blinking, blinking faster, blinking slower, and then it wasn't turning on. Now I have flashed it to A40 and it works. Who knows why? But anyway, Mag Unify X570 A4 is the right one, it was the right one for me to flash it by flash BIOS and uh, obtain again working. This is the first CPU, so at A3, flashed A3, it didn't work with any of the CPUs. Now with the first CPU that was uh, previously installed in it, I flash it without RAM, CPU and graphic card and disk on SATA was disconnected. The only thing that was in was uh, uh, M.2 disk and yeah, I'm here. So yeah, the problem is solved, let's say. The CPU temperature is okay, so it is working nicely and uh, hopefully it will be working flawlessly. Thank you for your attention and uh, yeah, have a nice day. And if you have a problem, hopefully this video helped you. Cheers.